What's up guys, it's your boy Mopar. Today we're going to uh, remove the windshield off of the Busa and replace it because that son bitch is black as hell, can't see nothing out of it. But uh, that's what today's video is going to be about. Let me show you right here. So we have this star bolt and uh, this uh, star bolt right there. So it's, only, so it's only two bolts that's holding it in. So we're going to... Um, Take them out and remove the uh, windshield, and then we're gonna put the new one on there, okay? Let's see if I can put y'all right here where y'all can see me. Wow, right, work your work. Let's see. There we go. All right. So now that we got our two bolts out, now we need to remove the windshield. And it should be as easy as just pop, go to the weasel and the weasel say pop. So as you can see right there, it's got the grooves where it fits in there. And it pops right out. As you can see, can't see nothing through that. That's the whole point in changing it. Yep, definitely. Definitely cannot see. Can't see out of it. Can't see. And that's what it looks like without a windshield. All right, so let me go grab the new one and we'll stick it on there. All right, so here's our new windshield. This is a light smoke. Comes from uh, Puig, Puig, high tech parts, Puig. Anyway, I ordered off of Revzilla. So, but if you wanted to order it, that's the part number right there. Ow. All right, now we should be able to just slide this one back in. And I just like that, ladies and gentlemen. There she sits. We got the box in, but I don't want to show you what it put it in there. So now we'll put our bolts in and we'll call it good. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are done. Got the bolts back in it. Just like that, looking all pretty. Now look, look, now you can see. Hey, now we can see through it. All right. Um, there she is. That's how it looks. You can actually get one. You can actually order one that's a little bit darker than the light uh, smoke one. I went with this one just to be sure, just in case, to make sure we can see out of it. So uh, there you are, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you can install a windshield on a Gen 3 Hayabusa. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see. Appreciate you tuning in, and we'll catch you on the next one.